In the view there, you see a brand new 20 inch Pro Art toolbox. Now, I just got this one at Dick Blick, and I just want to show you how versatile a box this can be for a pen and ink artist. Um, it's 20 inches long, it's about 10 inches front to back, and about 12 inches tall overall. Now, that's the second one um, that I own, and that is going to be for calligraphy inks and um, some sets of calligraphy pens. Um, my motivation in getting the second one is um, right now I have all my calligraphy inks on a shelf and I am packing and moving and I needed somewhere where if a bottle leaks um, it's not going to end up on the shelf or I needed a place to put ink where they could leak and at the most get all over the inside of a box, uh, a toolbox, instead of all over furniture or whatever. So I brought another Pro Art box, and um, I'll show you how ink bottles will fit in there in a minute, but this is the one that I've had for about 10 or 15 years. I've had it for a long time. And the top area, both of them open up, and you can put, um, I've got converters in there, ink sacks for pens, I've got pen nibs, um, ink cartridges, directions that I don't want to lose. The latches are plastic, but they're really strong for plastic. Um, and I've got a whole set of Rotring art pens in the top half here, a bunch of miscellaneous uh, tools or nibs or um, hard to find items, random fountain pens, more converters. And then in this one, I have all different types of pens. Um, like this is a fairly rare Kohenor India ink art pen. It's a nice pen. It's a kind of a pain. It does clog, um, but it's a nice pen and glass pens, shapers. Um, these are art bin pen and nib boxes, which are wonderful, a wonderful way to hold a pen um, and all the nibs that comes with it. I have several of these. I keep a lot of um, crow quill or um, old-fashioned hunt uh, dip pens and and all their nibs in boxes like these. So you can see there's a lot of room in there. There's a lot of depth. And then you have the top tray. And this has basically been a box that leans toward the calligraphy part of my pen and ink. Um, but I found I don't have anywhere to put the ink bottles. And the camera's going to shake for a minute as I get up. Um, so with this one, the new one, you can see the latches are a little bit different, but they're just as strong. Tray is similar. It looks like something got broken in shipping, but it's only a tiny little blue piece. Um, it doesn't look like it's critical. And here's the depth. which is, looks to me, six inches. So most of my inks for calligraphy are Noodler's inks. And that's why I got this box. The other half of my inks and stuff I need are in um, bottles with dropper tops. They're both going to fit in here. I can now fill this whole box with ink. <clears throat> with calligraphy inks if I want. And here's another standard fountain pen ink. So the light's not really good there. But you can see how much room that gives you and you don't have to worry if any of the inks start to leak or uh, you have to put them away quickly, you don't have the top on quite right. Um, 
this is a heavy duty plastic that would probably clean up very easily if anything spills. So at $21, roughly, at this blick, this is indispensable. It's a 20 inch Pro Art toolbox. 